my uh, vertical tilt over mast assembly, I'm going to take the hex beam and mount it up here facing upwards. This will be the top of the pole here. <clears throat> That's the bottom of the pole down there, way down there. And this is a linear actuator to tilt the mast over. And the idea is that I can tilt the mast 90 degrees so when I lower my tilt over tower I can keep the basket, the sunshine um, basket from the hex beam. I can turn it over and make it uh, vertical the whole time. So now if I can just get this battery to cooperate, the linear motor is running at this point and it's pulling in and as it does we're supposed to be getting this thing to uh, retract. Problem is trying to keep the motor <clears throat> battery terminals connected while I'm talking and holding the camera. Anyway, the tilt of our mast is supposed to be tilting down. And if you see it from the uh, side view here, you can see the motor is trying to pull this thing in. It's like watching paint dry. It's very slow. But that's okay. I did it before with gravity and it was much too sudden, much too rapid. And it just keeps moving. And what will happen is this will become 90 degrees so that the hex beam will be facing sideways. <clears throat> but when I lower the antenna <coughs> off the mast, the hex beam will continue to be facing upwards. That means that I can put this pole almost on the ground and have the hex beam facing up so I can do service on it. I'm also adding other antennas uh, underneath of it. I'm going to put a 2 meter Yagi underneath of it and I'm going to be putting a uh, 440 antenna above it, or 432. So there we have it, pretty much 90 degrees and that way the hex will always be facing up as I lower the mast. And what I'm talking about over here is my crank up tilt over mast that I built. I made it out of steel box tubing. There's other videos on YouTube that show me building it and testing it. But here's the uh, tilt over mast. And right now it's up about six feet on the high end. I can bring it all the way to the ground because all I have to do is adjust the uh, winch motor and let it come down and that way the mast will be on the ground and the hex beam will be sitting basically on the ground facing up so I can do service and work on it get to it and everything else being 75 years old I didn't want to climb a tower so I built this when COVID started and it uh, tilts over and does uh, quite a nice job it, uh, extends all the way up to 53 feet that's why the cables have so much play in them is because this all extends up another 30 feet from what it's sitting here right now and then it just uh, sits there and pivots in a couple of little blocks so that's what we have and I mounted the mast on the side of the tower so that the rotor has a cage to protect it from lateral forces so when the pole goes in here it goes where's my finger <laughs> all the way through this way so the rotor only has to twist it doesn't have to carry a lot of side loads so I think that'll work out pretty good in any case the uh, linear actuator is all set up with a bunch of flanges so that I can uh, slide it back and forth and adjust it to make it just right the motor the linear motor extends and contracts 18 inches and this bracket I made will slide that bracket down there will slide and then of course this pivot's still being adjusted with the wire ties it's going to be welded but uh, it'll get where I want to go in any case that's a pretty good 90 degree angle <clears throat> oh the camera's got an uh, anti-shake on so it doesn't follow my motion anyway this is what we have and this lever arm pushes on this pipe this pipe is going to be triple wall right now it's double wall 
and there's a threaded coupling down in the bottom. And what I'm using is I'm using one inch EMT that's um, called rigid pipe. It's double wall thickness. And that is going to go into this assembly and screw in. And then it's going to go through my hex beam. The hex beam, I never liked it because it was supported from the bottom. So what I'm doing is I've drilled a hole through the middle of the hex beam. And that one inch pipe will come through here. And these couplings will fit on the side. The original ones were aluminum. These are galvanized. They're called uh, floor flanges. <clears throat> and I'll put one on top and one on the bottom for extra rigidity. They're about three inches long. Focus. So that'll be six inches of support, which will be quite robust because the one inch will go right through there and the flange will sit right here, right there on that. I had to redrill the holes and do some welding on these, but I got them to go. So then the hex beam will have a mast going through the center, which will support my Yagi 2 meter and my vertical antenna. And the uh, antenna feed bar will just simply be bolted to the side of the central mast. I don't know why they never made a central mast. It seems like the only way to go. But um, I keep playing and having fun doing experiments. Uh, if you're interested, there's a whole bunch more videos on here about my mag loop and my horizontal 860 foot loop and a bunch of other things. So there's a lot of stuff to play with. And we get back here to this guy, which is the uh, project of the day, a linear actuator motor on eBay, 50 bucks. This thing's good for 1,350 pounds of force. That'll easily lift that antenna. Even with a 10 inch lever arm, it'll be plenty, plenty fine. Enjoy N4MQ.